For the millions who suffer from recurring migraines, new hope is on the horizon. Cutting edge treatments are already bringing relief to people who never thought they would feel better. Here now in our series, In Their Own Words, Moving Beyond Migraine, the stories of patients and doctors who are fighting back against the pain. Lynn Kaufman was just 12 years old when the migraines began. I knew before I opened my eyes that I was going to have a migraine. That's how bad it was. Over her 50 years of suffering from migraines, Lynn, with her husband in tow, saw an army of specialists and tried every new recommended treatment. Probably four or five internists followed by six or seven neurologists. I tried every medication that's possible. We have my Imitrex and my Bramamine, Maxalts and my Neurotriptan, I don't even know what these things are, <laughs> natural pain relieving gel, which I would rub on my forehead and on my shoulders. I tried chiropractic, acupuncture, multiple diets. Bottom line is it absolutely nothing worked. Well, I think friends got used to it. Our, our, our social life is often um, having Friday night dinners or Saturday dinners with friends and um, if she canceled and I went, though that was Lynn. Lynn's story is common. People with migraines know that currently there are few options for migraine prevention. All the FDA approved preventive drugs we currently use were originally developed for other conditions. So those are all treatments where we noticed when people with other conditions were being treated and they had migraine by coincidence that the frequency or severity of their headache attacks was diminished. And for many, those few preventative remedies offer little relief. Lynn's lowest moment, two years ago, the day she saw yet another migraine specialist. I had an 11 day or almost two week headache and I, I really had given up at that point. And I walked in there and I said to him, you are the last doctor I'm going to. I will never go to another doctor. If you can't help me, I give up. I'm just gonna lie in bed and cry. And I cried. I just canceled my life. But this time, her doctor recommended something different, a clinical trial of a new treatment that for the past few years has been showing encouraging results. It's called CGRP targeted therapy. I've been involved in headache medicine for 30 years and the CGRP targeted therapies are definitely the most exciting development I've seen. CGRP is a chemical that increases in the blood during a migraine attack. It is known to activate nerve pathways inside and outside the brain that are believed to be involved in generating the pain of a migraine. Now with the technology and biologic medicines advancing so quickly, new drugs are able to either target CGRP molecules or block the receptors to which they attach. Clinical trials have shown these drugs are effective in relieving and preventing migraine symptoms. The CGRP antibodies are the first example of designer drugs for migraine and at least thus far these drugs seem to be really great both in terms of efficacy and lack of side effects. Is it a game changer? I think potentially it is. Dr. David Kudrow is Lynn's doctor, one of many doctors around the world working on these CGRP inhibitor clinical trials. He says one of the most encouraging aspects of the results so far, little side effects. It's the same as you would see in the placebo patients. You can't separate out the side effect profile from the patients who are actually getting the medication from the patients who are getting placebo, which is really amazing. It's been two years since Lynn began the clinical trial. Right from the beginning, the number of migraines reduced. And I'm happy to say that for the past eight months, I have been virtually migraine free, a whole different world. Several companies are working on medications based on these clinical trials. The first versions of these new drugs could be available as early as 2018. There is one caveat, however, the price tag. Cost of treatment is always an issue. The companies have not yet said what they're going to charge for it, but I wouldn't be surprised if these treatments cost $10,000 a year. Yes, an expensive option, 
But patients like Lynn say they would still buy these drugs because the hope of a life with little or even no migraines is worth nearly any cost. The focus of her life is away from migraines, and yes, it's a great relief and makes us all happy. It's just a victory to feel good. It's hard to explain the absence of pain. It's a wonderful thing. So how well are you managing your migraines? Go to webmd.com slash migraine to take an assessment. You'll get personalized results with strategies to help you live better.